In this video, we will discuss the new features and enhancements in Cadence Orca at an Allegro in this release. We'll talk about the following products in the video. Let's get started with what's new in Allegro PCB Editor and Package Designer Plus. New checks have been added for the same net via to via that have the same start or end layer span. These checks detect potential manufacturing issues with adjacent via holes. Region-based DFA checks are introduced in this release for the Allegro suite of tools. You can create different regions in Constraint Manager that have different DFA spacings. The back drill solution has been enhanced to provide a dynamic mode that shows back drill results in real time. It also maintains appropriate back drill clearance and depth as you interactively update the design. In addition to the row and column arrangements, PadStack Editor now supports polar and custom drill patterns. Flash symbols can now be assigned to PadStack keepouts. You can also add C lines, pins, shapes and vias for keepout exceptions for specifying additional spacing checks. Hole checks can be added in the expanded form within Constraint Manager. These checks control hole spacing based on via type allowing different rules for each net, class class, regions, and so on. In Allegro Constraint Compiler, Object Rule Table Enhancements have been added. When creating groups in an object table, you can leverage existing hierarchical constraint manager group objects such as differential pairs, buses, and net groups. An optional column has been added in the object table that provides the flexibility to indicate a row as an optional member. The compiler ignores the member defined on the optional row, if not used in the design. It loads the rest of the table without reporting an error. The object rule specification table allows assignment of components, nets, and pin properties to drive interface guidelines alongside constraint definitions. Several improvements have been made in this release in 3D Canvas. Transparency settings are now applied to all models. The transparency of individual CAD model can be controlled using a new checkbox in the Symbols tab. You can set different colors for models for a selection state or a collision state. A new highlighting mode, Overlay, has been introduced that helps you locate selected models quickly in dense designs. Visualization and control for the Z datum can be set as a preference along with the Z direction plane. Silkscreen representation in 3D canvas can be selected through filter UI. In Allegro Package Designer Plus, new features include the package design integrity checks for logical connectivity issues. The power delivery rail and via generator ensures that the power nets deliver enough power and ground net coverage. The shape zigzag command creates nodes or zigzags on long and parallel shape edges. The advanced non-standard fillets command provides advanced parameters that are compatible with the silicon design requirements. Now, let's talk about Allegro Pulse and EDM. Designers can now personalize their work and attach files, such as checklists, specification documents, and review notes. For ease of use, you can now remove projects from the list of projects shown in the dashboard. You can also customize the location of your project files on the local device when joining a shared project. Pulse administrators can now manage servers easily with better reporting of the status of various services. Administrators can also generate a test case for the Pulse Service Manager server data for easier debugging. If you work with boards outside of Allegro System Capture, you can now easily define the board file to be used when board engineers release data to the PLM system. Publish for Manufacturing now supports Anovia 3DX Let's now take a look at the changes in Allegro System Capture and its related applications. P 
PSPICE AD is now integrated with system capture and brings to you a complete functional circuit simulation environment. PSPICE utilities including simulator, waveform viewer, and modeling applications can now be launched from within system capture. To facilitate a seamless integration between the two applications, new PSPICE specific menu options are added in system capture. In hierarchical designs, it is possible that the power definition needs to be localized to the block and not shorted to the global power defined at the top level design. You can now limit the scope of the power nets to the block level. Some features are controlled by the site admin and require CPM directives to be set at the site level before designers can use them in their designs. In this release, these features are hiding pages, reordering blocks, and hierarchical variants. You can hide unused sheets that do not have electrical connectivity so that they are excluded from the TOC and the PDF. To change the order in which pages are published or printed, you can modify the sequence of sub-blocks within the same parent block in a design. This comes handy when working with hierarchical designs where multiple instances of blocks are present. You can now import or create designs with variants. and even extract hierarchical BOM reports with the BOM HDL utility. Designers can now specify pin numbers for better packaging. A new optimize option is also available, which resets the pin number to the lowest one available. This change is marked as tool assigned and it makes the section swappable in the layout editor and gets flagged when you update the schematic with the layout changes. Allegro Unified Library within Allegro System Capture now supports creation of standalone symbols without having to create a part first. Along with electrical symbols like power or port, you can also create non-electrical symbols such as page borders, title blocks, and TOC symbols, which help in documenting information on the schematic. You can now create asymmetrical schematic symbols by adding multiple sections, where each section represents a different function. Then, we have Sigridi Aurora. A new workflow has simplified and automated the extraction of interconnect models. Interconnect Model Extraction or IME, utilizes your Sigridi Power SI and or Clarity 3D Solver licenses to extract highly accurate S parameter models. Now let's talk about the topology workbench. The overarching topology creation and editing environment that includes topology explorer, system SI and system PI is now named topology workbench. In complex topologies such as CAN buses for automotive applications, you can use the cable modeler block and build twisted cable spice W element models for simulation. The cable editor provides an interface to add parameters, generate W element models, and define sweep parameters for a cable modeler block in the sweep manager. To remove external dependency on a Visual Studio installation, the Windows GCC compiler is now included in the AMI builder, and you can compile AMI models on the Windows platform for the SLA and PBA workflows. Memory blocks in a topology are no longer limited to the same IBIS or SPICE models. You can now assign different IBIS or SPICE models to memory blocks in a topology. Several performance enhancements have also been made. The runtime for S-parameter simulation in speed EM is now reduced. The algorithm used in solving sparse SPICE circuits is enhanced by a new multi-threading architecture and matrix partition solver. Then we have ORCAD Capture CIS. Components defined using modeling application can now have expressions instead of values. For example, instead of supplying a fixed voltage for the initial condition of a capacitor or an inductor, you can now use an expression to track a test bench parameter. Moving on, we have P Spice AD. With the updates, you can use the debug mode to get more insight into the simulation results. 
For example, use debug mode to troubleshoot simulation that is taking a long time to complete. These were some of the main highlights for this release. For more details, refer to the product documentation and the What's New blog post.